Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Sunday Live Activation. How's everybody doing today? So this is going to be a very special Sunday Live Activation. I just got back from the Journey to Truth conference, was there all week, and I met a lot of people from the audience like Lisa, uh, Victor, Katie, Zach, so many people. It was so nice meeting everybody, and it was just a, an amazing week. An amazing week. And so this is going to be an earth star chakra activation. This will be part nine, I believe, in the chakra series. So we started from the root and worked our way up. And now we're going, we did the soul star chakra last week, and then we're going back down to the earth star. Um, so if you want to check out any of the other ones, even if you don't watch them live, the replays are still, you know, they still work. They're still very powerful. This is beyond time and space. And you can find those under my live activations playlist. Or if you just scroll down on my channel a little bit, you'll see all of my live streams. Hello, Christine was there also. You guys all, everybody has to come next year. It was so much fun. So much fun. So the earth star chakra is a chakra that's about 12 inches below your feet. And this helps you to connect with the earth. So I'll talk a little bit about the earth star chakra. And if there's anybody new here, what I usually do is I chat for about 15 minutes or so. And then we'll start a live guided activation with my singing bowls, my crystal singing bowl. Very, very powerful. We'll work with the star beings, the angels, and yeah, super exciting. How's everybody doing today? Hello. Oh, Felicia, you were at the conference too. Oh, I don't, did we meet? That's awesome. Yeah, it was so much fun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Michelle, Cynthia, Logan. You guys rock. Jen, hi. So I'm going to share just a little bit about the Journey to Truth conference before we get started. Um, so yeah, there were tons of speakers there. Geraldine was supposed to be there, who I just posted an interview with her Wednesday about the hybridization program. So you can go back to my channel and check that out if you'd like. Um, Brad Olson was there talking about uh, ancient sacred sites. We had Jock Doubleday there, um, Abby Lynn there. Uh, Barry there, Tony Rod Riggs there to talk about the SSP secret space programs. And it was just an incredible time getting to meet with everybody, mingle with everybody. And on the last day, we went to an ancient sacred site, which is only like 45 minutes away from my house called Cahokia Mounds. And I'm going to share a picture in a minute, because not only are we going to be do doing the Earth Star Chakra today, we're also going to be connecting with the ley lines the light grids of the earth and helping to clear, heal, and open and activate these sacred sites. This is inspired by the last day of the conference or the, the day after it ended. A huge group of us, probably like 40 people, um, went to Cahokia Mounds. And Cahokia Mounds is the oldest, the oldest site in North America, the oldest city in the whole continent. And it's basically right in my backyard. And it has these huge mounds. Um, it's a mystery where everybody went. This was a huge town, like a, like it'd be like the, the New York of the ancient city uh, of ancient times. And the star beings, whenever I started seeing these UFOs and they started communicating with me, they actually showed me you know, prehistoric times, they're, them being there with the Native Americans, specifically the Pleiadians and these Lyrans with light blue skin, no hair, my star family. And they showed me uh, them teaching the Native Americans how to do agriculture and create this city, this metropolis. And, and they also showed me that there's an underground base underneath these mounds. So these mounds are kind of like the, the uh, Egyptian pyramids of North America very sacred, very powerful. The energy is nuts there. So we're also going to be connecting with that site today. The energy was nuts. If there was anybody who went to Cahokia Mounds, 
with us. I know Katie did. What can you share in the comments, like what your experience was? Grid work. Yep, we're doing some grid work today. Yeah, going to be very powerful. So there's a place called Woodhenge that's right next to Kokia Mount. And then I'll go into more about the Earth Star Chakra. Uh, it's, it's called Woodhenge. It's basically like, it's like Stonehenge. And this is at Cahokia Mount, which is like really close to my house, but it's made out of wood. But it was created to track astrological events, and it matches up perfectly with the eclipse, the equinox, all of that. So after our Cahokia trip, like we went back, we got tacos down the street at a taco truck, and then we went back, and I did a an in-person activation with this singing bowl. Uh, Tony Rodriguez was there. Um, a few others were there. Katie was there and it was absolutely incredible. And while I was playing this singing bowl and we were like connecting with the earth, they showed me like these, these grids lighting up around the earth, this light. And they showed me like a ripple effect. And they said, you have no idea the ripple effect that you are creating right now. And then they showed me the continent of Africa. And then they zoomed in on the pyramids and they were lighting up and everything. And they're saying, what you're doing right here is activating the pyramids in ancient Egypt. Like we're activating these sacred sites. So that's what this activation is going to be about, tapping into that. And as well as opening our earth star chakra that is below our feet. Katie Rains. Now this activation was powerful. We were magnetized to Gaia. Yeah, and after this activation that we did at Woodhenge, Gaia, the earth, was communicating with me. I could feel her presence. And she was like talking to me through through the trees, through the air, through the wind. Like it, it's like she just came alive. And she was very like thankful and grateful for the work that we were doing. And you just felt that connection. Like I was actually like communicating with the earth. So we can also do that. Thank you, Zach. It was so good seeing you at the at the conference. Zach said, I had clear audience for the first time last night right before I fell asleep. Startled me to have a voice inside of my head. That's amazing. So yeah, whenever you go to these conferences and to these sacred sites, which we're going to be connecting with that today, I have the energy already, you know, it's it's fresh. You can actually develop psychic abilities very quickly or have profound spiritual experiences because the energy is so intense. It's amazing. Jason Stonehenge is near me. You should definitely go there and do a meditation. Maybe you can go there and do this meditation and see what happens, connecting all of the ley lines. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, yeah, and there was also a new tribe of Sasquatch that we saw. I saw them the first night. We went out to do a sky watch and, you know, went up to this little windy area. It was very woodsy, secluded. And um, <laughs> there's they're known for having Sasquatch in the area. There's like a big Sasquatch sign right whenever you get to this lodge where the conference was. And I set the intention and asked to connect, you know, are there any Sasquatch in the area? Suddenly I saw like four silhouettes out in the woods and the energy just got very, very intense. And I was like, oh, my God, they're here. They're observing us. And then that night I went back, you know, we went back home not home, but to our, uh, to our hotel, to our cabin. And I woke up at five o'clock in the morning, just very abruptly. And whenever I opened my eyes, I had a Illinois Sasquatch there, right there. And there were two blue avians there too. And the Sasquatch as kind of like a token of friendship, because this was my first time meeting this clan, we went to Arkansas and met a whole other clan and the energy was completely different between the two. I thought that was so fascinating. So I was like introducing myself to these new Sasquatch. And the Sasquatch held out an opal, a piece of opal in his hand. And he had me put my hand on it. And it was like, like a token of friendship, like kind of like an initiation. So yeah, that was cool. The Sasquatch can come too today if you guys would like to come. Uh, the avians and blue avians were around very, very heavy this week as well, as well as the dragons. And Katie, so we'll work with them today too. Uh, Katie Rains in the chat uh, was talking about how dragons are known for assisting with grid work. And since 
uh, yesterday getting back, I've had two dragons that have been hanging out with me. Like yesterday, I like tuned in and I felt two dragons on each side of me. So they help with the ley lines in the, in the grid work as well. So they'll be here today. Yeah. What did the voice say, Zach? <laughs> Hi, Beth. She was there, too, at the conference. Oh, my gosh. It was so much fun. I can't wait for next year. It's going to be amazing. Robert's here, too. It was cool meeting him in person again. So amazing. Beautiful. Oh, it was a personal message. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll be working with the dragons today. The avians can come. The Sasquatch can come. We'll be working with Gaia. Gaia is a sentient being. And she's also, she's ascending. Oh, I just remembered. I saw a vision last night of multiple Earths. Like, I don't know about like timelines or, or parallel Earths beginning to merge. And we're, we are creating the highest timeline with the work that we're doing right here, right now. And just our light. Whew. This week, there was also like a spike in the Schumann resonance, I believe. Uh, somebody was talking about, Victor was talking about. And the conference, whenever you get together in person, the, the downloads and activations are just crazy. And they literally said it was affecting the entire planet. So, and what we're doing here is going to affect the entire planet as well. <laughs> okay, so let me go back to the Earth Star Chakra. So the Earth Star Chakra is about 12 inches below the feet. And it is in your etheric body or your non-physical body. So it's below. So you got the root is one of the last main ones. And then way below that, you got um, the, the earth star chakra. And the earth star chakra is like your, it's like the anchor for your entire, yeah, hit the like button if you are here now or watching the replay. It really helps the channel. So the earth star chakra is like an anchor. It anchors all of your other chakras in. And it connects your energy to greater earthly and universal energies. I can feel my intuition and psychic abilities going up just from that meditation yesterday at, uh, at Cahokia Mounds. And of course, the conference too. But I can definitely, I'm feeling a big difference today. I'm feeling more grateful. I'm feeling happier. I'm feeling more connected with the universe, connected with the earth, um, with my guides even. It's incredible. So the Earth Star Chakra can help you do that. Um, and it can also give you like feelings of being grounded, stability, and well-being. So if you're, you know, ever kind of like too much up in your head or you've got racing thoughts or you feel overwhelmed or, you know, emotions, whatever, the Root Chakra can help with that. But so can the Earth Star Chakra. It really takes it to the next level of you being firmly grounded and present in, you know, your day-to-day tasks, which just makes life more peaceful and enjoyable whenever, you know, you're very present and grounded. Uh, feelings of well-being. The Earth Star Chakra can also help you dispel negative energy, and it helps you to channel positive energy uh, from the earth. So I was shown the visual of like whenever you connect, whenever you go in and you ground and you, you know, you send your light down into the earth, deeply uh, ground yourself. You can imagine roots going down. So you, the earth is like, is amazing. The earth recycles. The earth knows how to heal naturally. Nature knows how to do this. So whenever you connect with the earth, you can send some of your old or negative energy will go down into those roots, into the earth, and then the earth will recycle it. And then positive energy from the earth, healing, uplifting energy comes up into your being. So it's like a big, like, it's like recycling, which is cool. So you can channel positive energy from the earth, uh, stay present in day-to-day -day tasks, clear thinking, clear the mind, decrease or, you know, no overwhelm anxiety. And how you balance the Earth Star Chakra is easily by going outside, uh, using grounding techniques, using grounding stones, which um, dark stones are really good. This is shungite. Um, tourmaline are really good for grounding. This is pyrite, which is fool's gold. I love this one. Um, labradite. I love labradite. Or any like earth, earthy looking crystal can help. Jasper, uh, moss agate can really help with grounding and help connect you to the earth. 
So going outside, if any of you guys are like watching the replay or watching this right now, you may want to go outside and do this and like put your bare feet on the ground. That's going to be amazing. Oh, I saw Marcus gave me a uh, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. Yeah, spending time outside, spending time in the sun. Mother nature. Let's see what else. Going outside, talking to nature, which is, it, you can just talk to the plants. You can talk to the earth and you'll begin to get a response back, which is pretty amazing. Oh, thank you, Leah. So appreciate these Sundays activations. Thank you for the super chat. That helps so much. And there's also um, a buy me a coffee link if anybody would like to donate uh, down there in the description. And I guess that was about it. Does anybody have any questions? Just purchase a grounding mat. Interesting. Got red jasper. Yeah, you may want to grab your crystals. That says, anyone notice when you got back home, things were just different. You can see energies, positive and negative. That's awesome. Yeah, these conferences really just help activate you. It's insane. So please, everybody come to the Journey to Truth conference next year. And I'm sure it'll be in May again next year. Whew. Also, I wanted to show you something that I got. I got this handmade argon pyramid. It's got three different layers. And I don't remember the guy's name who I bought it from, but I'll share it with you guys next week, uh, next time, because it's incredible. There's copper at the top, and the shape of the pyramid creates its own like electromagnetic field, its own energy. There's a quartz crystal on the top with copper around it. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. This crystal has already been working on me the past few nights that I've had it. I've been receiving visions of it. It's been working on me. So I'll share if, in case any of you guys want to get one and you can actually customize um, the crystals that are in it. But somebody was saying, I was complimenting their pyramid and she was like, it was Anne Marie. She's like, I need to go get one of those. That's some serious technology over there. And that had me sold. This is technology. He channels the Arcturians too. So this is very advanced technology. I love it. I'll share the link with you guys later or his, or his website. Beautiful. Okay. We'll get started in just a second. Yeah. The pyramid's incredible. Okay. So we're going to connect with the ancient Egyptian pyramids. I'm going to show you guys a picture real quick of Koki Mound so that you can have a visual because we'll be connecting with that sacred site. Okay, so here's what Kokia Mounds looks like. And this is basically like the, the ancient Egyptian pyramids of, of uh, North America. Very old. This is the biggest mound. It's nuts. And they haven't excavated this. It was a huge city. So uh, it's rumored that they found giant bones under there. The Smithsonian took them. I've had UFO contact experiences, profound spiritual experiences there. A lot of Native, Native Americans, you know, they were very spiritual, very close. It may have cut out. The audio may cut out whenever I share my screen. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay, so just get a good look at that. Just visualize these mounds, and there are mounds all over. Obsidian is powerful also. Okay, the energy at the mounds was amazing, very electrifying. And let me know in the comments if anybody's watching this later or they're here now. If there's anybody new to the channel, welcome. We do these group activations every week, Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Time. And also, I've partnered with Hopewell Farms CBD before we get started, and we're offering 10% off, a 10% off code with uh, Lily10, link in the description. I take this CBD every day. Hopewell Farms was uh, at the conference as well. I've become good friends with them. I met them last year at the conference. They have very high quality CBD that they do energy work on. It's helped me a lot. 
So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. And also one other thing, if you are interested in the DNA activation session, a channel DNA activation, along with the DNA activation workshop that can help you connect with your star family or my deep chakra healing workshop and channeled activation, it's an hour long uh, with the inner earth beings and violet flame. You can get those in the description too. They're at the very top, very powerful. And you have lifetime access. All right. It's a great product. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Is everybody ready? Let's go. And we have Debbie Solaris coming on for a part two interview on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Jen Farah, the DNA activations are amazing. Yeah, Katie was saying that she's been doing, doing them like every day. Very powerful. And I'm, I play three of my Crystal Alchemy singing bowls. In them, the, the bowls blew. Tony Rod Riggs, it blew his mind. That was his first time hearing the bowls. And uh, yeah, it blew his mind. Ugh, I'm going to take this off. I've got my earth earrings on for the earth star chakra. All right, if everybody wants to go ahead and get comfortable, grab your crystals. Take a deep breath in. Thank you, Victor, for sharing deep chakra healing and the DNA activation. Yeah, Tony was blown away. It blew his mind. He actually made contact with a being and he's he doesn't normally like that doesn't normally happen to him. <laughs> OK, so this is my bowl for the sacral chakra, but it works for all of the chakras, but specifically for the sacral St. Germain Sky Violet Flame Bowl. And if you are interested in getting a crystal bowl of your own, I get mine from Solo Soaring. Her website is at the very bottom of the description. Okay, go ahead and take a few deep breaths in. And as you breathe in, breathe light into your body. into the body, releasing any tension on the out breath, inhaling love and light, allowing the frequencies of this bowl and the sound of my voice to relax you. We will go ahead and create sacred space around each and every one of us. We'll call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel. These are the archangels of the horizontal plane. See, feel, or visualize these archangels surrounding you in whatever area you're in, if you are outside or inside, they surround the room, covering the walls in light, clearing out the room or wherever you are, clearing any energies that do not belong and declaring this space sacred and protected. Each and every one of us surrounded by light Feel the frequency rising of the space you are in.
Now we call upon Archangel Sandalphon of the Below Space. Coming up from the crystalline grid of the earth, bringing the crystalline grid of the earth up through the earth, you may visualize this archangel coming up from the center of the earth, bringing this light grid, this platinum grid, up, 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 up to the surface and through your earth star chakra below your feet, connecting you with the crystalline grid. The crystalline grid is brought up through your earth star, the chakras in your feet, your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus, and then anchored in your heart. You are now fully supported from the 5D crystalline grid, the earth. And now we call on Archangel Metatron of the above space. This powerful Archangel brings down the Christ Consciousness Grid from the Grand Central Sun, coming from the center of space, bringing this golden light down, down, down through the sky, in through your upper chakras above your head, this golden Christ Grid down into your crown chakra, opening your crown, Filling your crown chakra with light. Creating an open channel to the divine. This grid continues down into your third eye, opening your third eye. Entering your throat chakra, opening your throat chakra. And then anchoring it in your heart, going through your higher heart chakra and into your center heart chakra. See and feel yourself divinely held from every direction, above, below, this light and these angels holding each side of your energetic field. You are a column of light. Now we call in our star families of the highest love and light. I'm sensing the Pleiadians already, the Avians, Arcturians, our cosmic family of the highest love and light, the rest of our guides, the Native Americans, shamans, healers, our spirit animals, our dragon guides, the dragons who help us work on the grid. Any guides who assist with clearing, healing, and opening, activating the ley lines. Any earth spirits, elementals. Feel yourself surrounded, each and every one of us. And we are all connected to each other all over the world. See the earth, visualize the earth. See the earth beginning to light up. Now visualize yourself at Cahokia Mounds. We appear at the top of Monk's Mound, the highest mound at this ancient sacred site. We are greeted by the Native Americans 
you offer to assist us with clearing and activating this space, connecting with the earth's energy, with the grid. All of us on top of this mound, this great mound. If you want, you can take a second to look around from on top of this mound, soak it all in. We also send light to the arch, which you can see from on top of this mound, which is known as a portal. You can see it off in the distance, this metallic arch, sending it love and light, clearing, healing, protecting it. All of these beings, these Native Americans surrounding us, our guides, the elementals. We will now go down to focus on our Earth Star Chakra, strengthening our connection to the Earth. Your Earth Star Chakra is about 12 inches below your feet. Standing on top of the mound, put your focus on your earth star chakra. See a cord of light coming up from deep within the earth, rising up and beginning to fill, open, and activate your earth star chakra. See your earth star chakra beginning to come online, filling with light, expanding, while also perfectly holding your other chakras above anchoring you into the earth. The earth offers to transmute any energy that no longer serves you. And you may now see or feel these old energies, any negative energies beginning to flow down through your body down into the earth, past your earth star chakra, your root, spreading like roots into the earth. Any energy you do not need, any extra energy or negative energy flows down. And Mother Gaia offers to recycle it, to transmute it, to clear it, to heal it. Fresh energy comes up from the earth. Fresh light, love, going up in through your chakras, into your body, into your energetic field. Just breathe this all in, soaking it all in feeling lighter, feeling your body harmonize, your energy and physical body, your mental, emotional bodies, beginning to heal, balance, 
and also activating more of your Merkaba, your light body around your physical body. Connecting to the sacred site, connecting to the earth, receiving these light codes, these loving frequencies, As this happens, your connection to the earth becomes deeper, becomes stronger, you feel yourself filling with love, with light, with health, with happiness, stability, feeling grounded and present. You feel in your heart your connection to Mother Earth, to this beautiful planet. Just feel the love of Earth flooding into your heart, expanding your heart, deepening your connection with nature, with the animals, with the elementals, with the plants, the trees, the water, Thanking the water for all that it does. Thanking the earth for all of its magic, glory, perfection. With this, your light grows brighter. You feel empowered. loved, held. See all of our lights so bright, all of us perfectly harmonized, balanced, connected, and anchored to the earth. We are now ready to spread this throughout the earth, share our love, share our light. See this light spreading from us from on top of Monk's Mound spreading through the planet, clearing and healing the planet, clearing the grid. You may see a grid appear. Send love and light to this grid. It creates a ripple effect and spreads and spreads spreading to each of the sacred sites around the earth, Stonehenge, the pyramids in ancient Egypt. See all of these sites begin to light up, the ley lines beginning to glow and light up. We ask the dragons to assist us with this grid work. You may see the dragons flying over the earth, working on the grids. All of these sacred sites around the earth lighting up, connecting, raising the frequency, anchoring in and choosing our highest timeline in ascending 5D earth. The land lights up. Humanity begins to light up. 
the Christ grid, Christ consciousness grid around the earth lights up. And we now begin anchoring this love, this light, this higher consciousness into our reality. Clearing anything that does not belong here or is not ascending with us, protecting these grids, these ley lines, these sacred sites, protecting us. The whole planet lights up. Feel the surge of energy flowing through your body. And now the earth thanks you. Mother Gaia thanks you. You can work with her at any time. You can speak with her at any time. The grid dragons, they appreciate your help. You can work with them anytime. You can send light to the earth at any time. What you do matters. Your light spreads. You have no idea the ripple effect you are creating. Visualize a beautiful 5D earth. The grids lit up, sacred sites turned back on. Peace and harmony. Peace and harmony. Our highest timeline. You may now come back to you standing on Cahokia Mounds. On this large mound looking at each other, at our brothers and sisters, the animals, the elementals, the dragons, the Native Americans step forward and thank you. They bless you. They give you a gift. The Native Americans thank you and hand you something. It may be whatever, it may be a crystal, an artifact, herbs, medicine, a token of their gratitude. And then, in gratitude for their assistance today, we give them something in return. It may be a flower, whatever you wish. See yourself giving this to these wonderful Native Americans and beings. Everybody hugging and loving each other. The earth is happy. The earth is peaceful. The earth is healed. Gaia sends you another surge of love straight to your heart chakra and really anchors in your earth star. It is open, cleared, connected to the earth as it should be. Just breathing this all in. And now, saying thank you to our guides, our ascension team, the earth. Whenever you are ready, you may begin coming back to your physical body, grounding and anchoring this energy in through your earth star chakra, through your roots, feeling balanced, harmonized, stable, healthy, happy, bright, Whenever you are ready, you may come back to your physical body. And then let me know how you feel, how your experience was.
feeling perfectly harmonized and balanced, grounded, connected. refreshed, harmonized, breathing it all in, anchoring it down, anchoring in our highest timeline. I'm feeling so light. Victor says, I wonder if I go into a trance uh, because I almost fall asleep during the meditations now. Yeah, that's what uh, Tony Rodriguez was saying too. Like I talked to him last night and he was like, I don't know what you did, but that like changed everything. He's like, um, he was riding with uh, one of his friends and they were both like, what the heck was that? They felt like hypnotized. Ah. Yeah, it is kind of like a hypnosis, kind of. You go into like that deeper state. Maggie, oh, thank you for sharing. That was beautiful. Thank you, Maggie. Mika, thank you. It was amazing. Jay just kept, kept jolting. Interesting. Marcus, what an endless, beautiful, and full of love meditation. I was touched to hear tears. Amazing. Yeah, the earth, like I just really appreciate the earth even more and, and just this beautiful place where we are. And you can really, really feel the support and love from nature and from all of these beings. It's incredible. Wow. Mary Jean, grateful, joy, and happiness. Natalie, lovely to feel this community together, loving earth and, and human community. Jen, me too. Yeah, the, the community aspect is huge. We're doing all of this together. Zach, wow, that was intense. Got message that we will live in harmony like the mound builders of the past. Amazing. Uh, Renata, very harmonizing. Thank you. Lisa, thanks for the hearts. Karina, amazing. Uh, yep, it's all the beings working on you. You ask for healing, angel. All day, my my feet felt cold. Now they're really warm. Interesting. Danielle, they are very powerful. Every activation is so unique. Cannot compare them. Thank you, Lily. Beautiful. Yeah. If there are some people that are new to the channel, definitely. I've got so many other activations. We've got all of the chakras. We've got um, a remembering Atlantis, remembering Lemuria activation, Syrian starseed activation, Pleiadian, all different kinds. I just go with, you know, whatever they, whatever they want me to do each week. Oh, like I Laura, wondering what it means if they handed me a Lumerian crystal. The Lumerian crystals are filled with keys and wisdom. So you can like, like access that wisdom. Do you have a Lumerian crystal? If you do, you should definitely meditate with one. You may also be Lumerian or have had some sort of a lifetime in Lumerian. Yeah, they're, they're saying you have, you've had a lifetime in Lumeria. Michelle, very beautiful. Felt rejuvenated. Beautiful, vile flame, incredibly powerful. Felt intense heat in the core of my body, swaying side to side in circles during the activation. Hmm. Is that great? I started crying when the Native Americans offered me a gift. Oh, I love them. They're so, they're so amazing. So amazing. Like whenever we went to Kokia Mounds, I just saw huge, huge crowd of them. So many. So thank you to the Native Americans and the dragons and everybody who assisted with this activation today. And like I said, you can continue working with these beings or the earth, you know, build a relationship with them. Awesome. Oh, Shannon's in Joshua Tree right now in the middle of the desert by myself. Needed that. That's amazing. I haven't been to Joshua Tree yet. I want to go. Logan, that was amazing. Love you. Everybody have a great Sunday. Yeah. So awesome. 
it was so amazing meeting everybody at the conference. Christine, beautiful activation. I saw many different beings in beautiful colors. Beautiful. Yeah, there's the Remember Lumeria. Lumerian starseed activation. You may want to do that, Lakeside Laura, if you got that. I received a blue lotus flower. So the blue lotus flower, Kathy, is, is really important and popular with ancient Egypt. So you they used that a lot and they depicted it a lot. So you should look into that. That could be your ancient Egyptian side being activated. Yeah, I think so. They're like nudging me right now. Yeah, you should you should work with that more. Natalie, a bit over. Uh, is there a short video about Merkaba? I've done longer ones, and you mentioned short and would come up, but I've not found such. Yeah, I haven't made the short one yet. I'll write a reminder down. I'm traveling to um, Contact in the Desert next week. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to make one. I do have the, the longer Merkaba activation, but really the, it's if you skip ahead of me talking to the part where I pick up the bowl, it's probably like 20, 25 minutes. But I will have that Merkaba short one as soon as I can. I may be able to, to uh, record it and do it before I leave. I'm leaving Thursday. Ah, hi, we got a noob. Shyla, welcome. Nice to see you here. Yeah, so we do this uh, every Sunday. It's incredible. Many different other ones to choose from. Um, and then let's see. So I'm interviewing Debbie Solaris on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. You guys love Debbie Solaris. She's on the Gaia channel. Uh, she's pretty famous. Um, she's an Arcturian star seed. And we talk about the Akashic Records a lot and like her, developing her gifts and abilities and everything. Yeah, there's the Merkaba light body activation if everybody wants to do that. That one was super very, very powerful. They showed me that the morning of that activation, everybody's Merkaba is lighting up and it shifted the entire planet. It was incredible. Um, and I guess that is about it, actually. So I am leaving Thursday. So there will not be a Sunday live next week. I'll be, I'll be gone. So no live Sunday next week. Feel free to, if you want to keep the ball rolling and keep the routine, you can go back and do one of my other ones. Just go scroll down to my live streams or click the live activations playlist. Um, and then I'll be back uh, Wednesday and next Sunday. So not, not this next Sunday, but the Sunday after. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And uh, you guys, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye-bye.